Hello, my beautiful and amazing friends. Welcome to today's podcast, where I'm going to share with you about how to get rid of tormenting thoughts. And listen, I have a scripture. I have it right here on my phone, and it's found in 1 John chapter 4, verse 18, where the Bible says, there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear has torment. He that fears is not made perfect in love. Have you ever been tormented? I'm telling you, torment is a terrible, terrible thing. I know when I went through my unwanted divorce, I was so tormented in my mind. It's like I couldn't get the image out of my mind that my ex-husband was now with another woman, that he had chosen someone over me. And that just sort of brings me to explain to you, I was so tormented that because he had chosen someone over me, I felt like, well, I'm ugly. Well, I'm not good enough. Well, look at this other woman. She's so beautiful. She's so sexy. She's got it all going on. And those were just nothing but lies. And you know, the devil, he is a liar. Jesus said he was a murderer from the beginning. And so every day my mind was just bombarded. I went to sleep at night thinking about my husband being with another woman. I woke up in the morning, first thought, thinking about my husband being with another woman. I mean, my mind was just like these arrows, like I was being bombarded. And when I would get off of my school teaching job, I would just get on my face before God in my one bedroom apartment. And I would just cry out to God. There were so many nights that I was so tormented that I felt like the enemy's fingernails were just in my mind. I felt like something was clenching my brain that I couldn't think straight. I couldn't get any peace. I couldn't sleep at night. I'm telling you, torment is a terrible, terrible thing. But I want to tell you, my friend, the good news, and that is how I got rid of my tormenting thoughts. And I'm just going to share several things with you. But number one is simply this, stay in church. Listen, when I was so depressed, when I was crying myself to sleep at night, when my eyes were so swollen that many times I would just wear my sunglasses to church service because I didn't want people seeing how swollen my eyes were. But do you know what? No matter how much I'd cried, no matter how much sleep I'd lost, no matter how embarrassed I was, how ashamed I was that my marriage had fallen apart, I made my way to the house of God. That's right. I sat on that back row. I sat wherever I could find a seat. And I allowed that anointing from the praise and worship. I allowed that presence of God that was coming through God's word, through my pastors, to minister life to me. And that's one way, my friend, staying in church will help you get rid of tormenting thoughts. Number two, the second way that I got rid of tormenting thoughts is I surrounded myself with positive people. I did not surround myself with people that always wanted to talk about my ex-husband, that always always wanted to talk about the relationship that he was in or the other woman. No, no, no. I did not need those type of conversations around me. I love Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20, that he who walks with wise men shall be wise. And so listen, you have to be very particular about the company you keep. You don't want to have a bunch of negativity around you. You don't want to have a bunch of negative voices around you. People saying things that are going to to discourage you. No, you want to keep people around you that are upbeat, that are speaking life to you, that are saying, hey, listen, you're going to make it through this. Listen, you're an overcomer. You're more than a conqueror. And so even though my circle was small, I kept it tight. I kept godly people around me that were praying for me, that were encouraging me. You're going to make it through this. You're going to get free from these tormenting thoughts. And so number one, stay in church. Number two, keep godly people around you. And number three, stay in his word. Whether you're listening to God's word, reading God's word, just like you saw me pull up that scripture on my phone, however you do it, listen, stay in God's word, stay in church, 
Keep the right people around you. And listen, my friend, it might take a little time. It might take more than a day or more than a couple of weeks. But every day, you're getting better. Every day, you're getting stronger. Every day, you're replacing those tormenting thoughts with a good thought, a thought from God's Word. And so today, my Father, I pray for my friends that are experiencing torment. And I take authority over the evil spirit of torment. And I command that it leave every single one of my friends today in the name of Jesus. I command torment, leave your mind in Jesus name. And father, I pray for the peace of God to flood their mind, flood their thoughts today. Father, thank you for setting my friend free from that torment, free from those suicidal thoughts, free from those thoughts of depression. And father, I speak peace And I speak joy to my friend today. And I do declare, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. And I do declare, you are free from torment. In Jesus' name, amen.